Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll see how we can able to use the proximity analysis tool and as well as select by location tool. I have downloaded this OpenStreetMap data from the triple BIK website. So how to download this data set I already explained in the previous videos. But if you want to know then you can able to go to Google and if you'll search Vikas Gadamode, when you'll search Vikas Gadamode in YouTube, you'll get this page. And in that I have already shown in the previous video, the 3D visualization and 2D and 3D view links in ArcGIS Pro. Here I have explained how you can able to download the data set from the OpenStreetMap. So usually you need to go to Google or any browser and just search here triple B I K extract OpenStreetMap data set. If you'll go here on this website, you can able to click inside and you can able to search your desired location wherever you want to download the data set. So usually I am downloading this data set in a shapefile format, which is support in ArcGIS Pro. Also, if you want to download it, you can able to search the area. Like I'm interested for the Hyderabad, so I can able to search the Hyderabad. When I will search here, you will get the information here. So whatever the location you are interested, you can search here. Okay, and after the search, you can able to click here. So once you'll click here, the area you are interested to download, you can able to select and you can click on extract. Means whatever the email ID you will provide, you'll get the link there. So here, if you'll see here in my email, I have got this to download the data set. So when you'll click here, the data set will download. And the same data set we can able to open here in our ArcGIS Pro. So I have this data set where I have this point shape file and railway shape file. Okay. If I'll remove this, I can able to add this data set again like railway. So these are the railway networks. And if we'll check the attribute table, you will get the information. These are the railway station platform and all this information is here. So also I am having the information about the places. So these are the some places. If I'll right click, open attribute table, you will get this information about the type. These are the locality name and Sherps is there then neighborhood this information is there and also if you'll check the points data is there okay so much point data is there so if i'll open this attribute table you will get the information traffic signals bus stops then hospitals all the restaurants fuels all this information is here so what i'm interested in within the one kilometer or two kilometer whatever the hospitals are coming that i want to know okay from within the one kilometer or whatever the bus stops then railway uh, from the railway station whatever the places are coming within the 500 meter that i'm interested to know or one kilometer that i'm interested to know so how we can able to get this information so we can able to mark a buffer to it so i will go to geoprocessing tool in the geoprocessing tool in the toolbox if you'll go to analyst there is a proximity in the proximity there is a buffer tool okay so let i will uncheck this point and i will create a buffer to it and here i need to draw the distance like suppose i'm interested for the 500 meter buffer or you can able to create a one kilometer buffer okay one here we need to select the unit if we are adding 500 meter then you select a meter if you want one kilometer then you can select a kilometer and other option will keep as it is and I will just click on the run. Once I'll click on the run, you will see 
automatically one kilometer buffer will mark here. Okay. So one kilometer is usually very big buffer. Uh, we can change it to uh, like 200 meters. Okay. Then select a meters. And I will add here 200. And just click on run. meter buffer is coming from this railway track okay and if i will add these points so you'll see that there are so many points are there so i'm interested to know what are the points are coming within the 200 meter buffer okay so for that we can able to go to map in the map there is option select by location select by locations so in the select by locations, my area of interest is point. Okay. I'll select the points. In these points are usually what we have seen in the attribute tables. Okay. You will see the attribute table. There are traffic signals. So total 4,297 points are there. Out of that, what are the points are coming within the 200 meter buffer that I want to know. So I have selected the what I have selected, I have selected the point option here, this point input feature. After that, we need to use the intersect. Okay. So this point should intersect with the railway buffer. These are my 200 meter railway buffer. Okay. So after that, what we need to do, we just need to click on OK. So you'll see that what are the locations are coming within the buffer zone that is selected. Okay. So out of, out of the 4,297 points, 2,295 points is all points is coming within the 200 meter buffer from the railway station. Okay. So this way we can able to do the analysis. And if you want to export this point as a separately, you can able to export. So you'll know that whatever the hospitals or bus stops, hotels, restaurants are coming within the particular buffer zone. But if you're having multiple buffer zone, like 200 meter, 400 meter, and you want to do the analysis for that that how then how we can able to do that like i will clear the selection so here i will create a multi-ring buffer options there multi-ring buffer so we can able to mark a multi-ring buffer here like 100 meter 200 meter 300 meter buffer so just take an input file as a railways these are the railways and you can add a buffer here like 100 meter plus 200 meter, 300 meter, and here we need to select the unit. Unit is a meter. So I'm keeping it by default GDB and multi ring buffer option is there. Just click on the run. So now you will see that the multiple buffer will come 100 meter, 200 meter. So if I'll uncheck previous buffer. And now you will see here the multiple buffer is coming. If I'll open the attribute table of this, then you can able to see that there is a 100 meter and 200 meter buffer is coming. I think that 300 meter buffer is removed. Let I will add 300 meter buffer. Okay. And again, we'll go. Just select railways, then 100, 200, 300, and 400. And other option I will select here as a meter. Okay. And again, just click on the run.
so if previously if we'll uncheck you will see that right click open attribute table you will see that these are the 100 meter buffer 200 meter buffer 300 meter buffer 400 meter buffer so if you want to symbolize this then just right click go to symbology and we can able to select a graduate colors then you will see that different different colors is coming here okay and now i'm interested to know what are the point location are coming within the 300 meter buffers okay so we can able to select a 300 meter buffer from the railway station so this 300 meter buffer is selected 300 and the same process again that select by locations okay so in the select by locations i want to know what are the points are coming within the 300 meter buffer so here i will select the points the same points and intersect with the this multi ring buffer one okay and here one record is selected so we have selected only one record here that this 300 meter just click on okay so you will see the locations are coming within the 300 meter buffer that only selected and here the information is there what are the points are coming within the 300 meter buffer so this way we can able to do the multiple ring analysis means if you are having multiple data set and multiple buffer we can able to mark and we can able to see what are the locations are coming within the 300 meter buffer 400 meter buffer using the proximity analysis